tax is a, um, a solid part of a VC called SSV. So as we invest in early stage uh, hardware startups, we notice that there's an element of uh, support that's missing in the VC community, which is to actually make the product, right? Like, and that's why we set up Hacks in Shenzhen, because to utilize the ecosystem in Shenzhen to help teams develop their products, develop their prototypes and iterations as quickly as possible. We look for three things. Um, the, um, of course, the technology uh, needs to be there, and the business, is a, is it an expanding business? Uh, does it have enough market for this team to succeed? But the most important part is the founders themselves, right? Do they have what it takes to deliver their original vision of the company? If you're a startup, if you're a hardware startup, the um, amount of iteration really defines how mature you are, right? It's not how long you've been in business, how many prototypes you have done, how many tests you have done with consumers, with your users, and then refine the product based on those based on those testing, and that's how you become a mature company. How committed is the, the number one, right? Like, it doesn't, doesn't matter what kind of hardship and what kind of difficulties you have uh, running a company, which you're gonna get a lot. Uh, it's how committed you are to sustain your original vision. And then also the skills and background and experiences also play a key role in this. Doing a hardware startup right now, doing a hardware uh, product right now, it's so much easier, more exciting than when I was doing it 10 years ago, right? You have so many different kind of um, uh, dev boards you can use. You have so many different kind of uh, prototyping tools, 3D printing, SLA, FDM, it's, it's a no-brainer now. And you can, you can have a fantastic company like C-Studio uh, supplying components for you. And so many open source stuff that you can uh, plug and play, right? It's the only thing you need to supply is your own imagination and your own ideas. So. Everything feeds back to each other, right? The business components, the user interface components, and engineering feeds back together, right? Traditionally, it's been done in a more linear approach, right? Once you finish engineering, you go test. Once you finish testing, you go figure out how to manufacture, right? But now, with the speed of development, with the, with the, with the difficulty of uh, putting all of it together, it needs to go in parallel. So the moment you have a new idea, test it with your consumer, right? Now, it's a lot, people are a lot more open about getting feedback. Right, having good platforms like Kickstarter giving you feedback right away as you develop and as they have factories and CMs to figure out how do you produce this while develop it is gonna be uh, it's gonna be it just needs to be run in parallel, right? So what was that said is just gonna be more than just engineering aspect as well. It's also gonna be the programming aspect, the user user experience, your design and all those things needs to be parallel with uh, with uh, how you develop your product from a from a uh, business perspective and a manufacturability perspective. So it's, it's always good to create solutions uh, to a problem rather than create a solution to look for a problem. So understand uh, to um, understand what your customers need, what your customers want by having open conversation with them, by observe what the, pro what the challenges are, uh, speak to the end users of challenges they're trying to solve and create, a pro create products that solve those problems. Uh, that's my recommendation to give for anybody who's thinking about creating a new business by inventing new technologies. I think people are getting more aware of the of the challenges that us humans faces in in healthcare. Right? Like it's uh, actually a lot of our a lot of our problems, healthcare problems, are chronic diseases. Right? Diseases because we're not eating well, because we're not sleeping well, and we are overworked. Right? So it's a it's no magic pill to solve those things, except for us to understand better of ourselves. So that's why a lot of companies, including Apple by crying live core to you know, uh, Fitbit into releasing a, not sports wearables, but medical monitoring devices. So that's quite exciting by understanding more of our uh, parameters as we move on, as we, uh, as we eat, as we rest, and as we work, to have better understanding of ourselves, and that's create opportunities for startups to create devices that can solve some of the biggest challenges in healthcare, which is chronic diseases. When we, when we go downstairs and take a look, I can show you like robots that's, that has been designed within three months, like having the nice, and, uh, and the reason for the speed is that it's, uh, it can very easily get parts made, get components purchased, and get uh, purchase items delivered.
right? And this whole Shenzhen ecosystem is designed to be fast. So for example, if I'm in, let's say if I'm in Toronto, uh, where I went to school, if I want a, a, uh, a capacitor, uh, a particular type of capacitors, I need to either buy online or go to go go uh, go to a small shop by driving four hours away. Here, I go downstairs onto the first floor, grab it, come back up. Right? If I want a if I want a a four layer PCB made, I upload my Gerber file right now. Tomorrow is time. I will have fifty of them on my desk, and I will pay. I have paid six bucks. And then that's the speed that we expect teams to achieve here by having the ecosystem working with Sam um, as quick as possible.